Okay, so this is just a continuation of how to show a manual calculation of an isolated footing. So I've shown here. So for example, uh, ito yung i-design natin ng isolated footing. So shift N, node 23. Okay, node 23. Then ang ginawa ko as, a, as according to the previous video, punta ko sa reaction, then result set up envelope 3000 for the unfactored load, then range is node 23, then apply, ok, and then copy, and then paste here in the spreadsheet. So after pasting, ang kukunin nyo lang diba is FY, MX, and MZ. So same goes with the factored load, so this is envelope 3000 while this one is envelope 4000 so once you have this for the sizing of footing uh, you know this already okay so say may design na kayo sa RCDC uh, well uh, as per this spreadsheet here na design ko na rin siya but again uh uh, I've shown you that this is this result here is similar to RCDC. So, ang nakuha kong footing dimension is 3.6 by 3.6 and 700 depth. And then, FC prime and FY is 420 and FC prime is 35. I'll be using 16mm. And then, bearing capacity 400 because say the, the SBC is 300 due to the allowable increase of one-third, magiging 400 kPa siya. And then, my final design is this. Where is it? 3.6 by 3.6, then ang, ang spacing ko ay 16mm at uh, 80, uh, 16 rib, rebar diameter space at 80mm. Okay. And then, this one is the uh, sample calculation ng, ano, ng SBC, di ba? So, nilagay ko yung 3.6 and 2.16 na moment from here. 3.6 and 2.16 na moment. Ano, ano, ano lang pala yun, yung based dun sa old video. Then, equate mo siya, P over A plus 6M over BD square. So, yung area natin, 3.6 and 3.6, BD square is BD square, 3.6 yung B, D is 3.6 also. Moment is 260. Again, this force will come from the unfactored load here. Supposedly, dito siya. No? Pumili na lang kayo ng FY and MX or MZ. So, uh, And, and uh, most likely, ang create ng max, max SBC is this one and this one. No, kasi ito, maliit lang yung moment nito. Okay. So anyway, uh, assuming that's the same. So I got my uh, stress as, as, sorry, ito pala yun. Yan, no? yan yun, no? yung pinakita ko kanina. 6M over BD square. So, marunong na kayo sa sizing ng footing to... Pag hindi nyo naman na-exceed yung, yung bearing stress, that means okay yung size ng footing na, na, na nakuha ni RCDC. Okay? How about yung sa moment? So, for the moment... Uh, by inspection, ito yung nakuha kong ano, ano, uh, result, summary, sa factored. No? So, okay na tayo sa size. No? Na-check na, 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 na natin na okay yung size sa serviceability, hindi niya na-exceed yung bearing pressure na 400 kPa. Now, we will now proceed sa rebar design. 
Sa rebar design, ang kailangan mo na ngayon is factored load. Okay? So, which is uh, envelope 4,000. And by inspection, may kita nyo, if I use this load case, 4,460, tapos yung moment niya halos zero. No? So, definitely, ganyan lang yung bearing diag uh, pressure diagram niyan. And by inspection, I will most likely ang magkukos ng, ang magkukovern na uh, force is this one. Kasi, Medyo malapit yung vertical force niya, tapos malaki din yung moment niya, yung 258. Right? And yung pressure diagram niyan is something like this. Or something like this. Trapezoidal. Right? So, let's choose this one. Kaya niround up ko siya, ginawa ko siya 36 and 260. Okay? So, choosing that, yeah, that's why uh, we use this 36 kN FY and moment of 260. And this is the calculation, P over A plus 6M over BD square. Same same formula, right? But at, uh, this time, we are using a factored load. So, ang nakuha kong maximum bearing pressure is 311.22 kPa. Okay? And using this formula alone, 36 divided by the area, you will get 277.78 kilopascal. Okay? Now, since, uh, di ba, sa concept ng beam, ang kailangan natin i-design yung rebar on the face of the column. So, kukunin natin yung uh, kukunin natin yung moment at that face. Right? So, let me just erase this. Yeah. Natin. And uh, para mas masimple natin ma-design or makuha yung equivalent moment, uh, i-ano natin siya, i-segregate into a rectangle having a centroid here and a triangle na may centroid dyan. Okay? So that's it. Um... Uh, well, to get the effective depth, 700, the thickness minus the concrete cover, 75 mm, because underground na siya, minus 1 half 16. But if you want it to be, to be more conservative, pwedeng 16 mm lang. No? This is just a rough check lang naman. So I got 609 as effective depth. Now, I wanted to find the equivalent pressure here. So by ratio in proportion... Uh, this is 33.22 Ito yung difference nila okay. And This is 33.22 So by ratio proportion We need to get this Y here Okay Yan. So 33.22 Is to 3.6 Yung overall width na to no? Then Y is to this so, by geometry, that is 2.15. Kasi half of 3.6 is 1.8 plus yung, yung ano, uh, half naman nung poste na 700. So, I got 2.15. And you will get Y is 19.84. So, this is 19.84. Ay, sorry. So, add mo siya sa 277.78. Plus 19.84, you will get 298 kilopascal. So, yan na yung pressure diagram mo. Okay? So, balik tayo dyan. Then, again, so, we need to get the moment at the column phase. So, sinegregate natin siya into rectangle and triangle. So, 1.45 yung... Uh, so, ito yung 1.45... Times 298, yan. times dahil rectangle yan, 1.45 over 2, plus area ng triangle, 0.5 times 13.22. So, ito yon Yan yung 13.22. Times the, the, the width, 1.45, times yung centroid nito, 2 thirds of 1.45. Okay? And since we are 
summing moment in every meter. So, multiply natin sa width ng footing, 3.6. So, I got 1161.14 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, uh, let me show you, which is very close to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is getting 1141. So, see? Uh, Konting ano lang, kont minor difference lang kasi consider yung spreadsheet yung self-weight ng footing. So, uh, although I just, I ignored the self-weight of the footing, no, uh, the, the, the corresponding moment is almost the same. And the rest is simple concept of beam. M is equal to phi RBD square, right? And 1161.14 times 10 raised to 6, 0.9 R. The B is 3.6. And the D is 609 square. No? So my R is 0 0.966. One equation, one unknown. So maliit lang, no? And using this formula, rho 0.85 FC prime over Fy square root of uh, quantity 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2R over 0.85 FC prime. Fy is 420. FC prime is 28. You will get 0 0.00235, which is as you observe, below the raw mean, na 1.4 over Fy. Therefore, a magogovern is raw mean. Okay? And this is typical in footing. No? This is typical in footing na ang nagogovern na raw is raw mean. Okay? So, A is equal to raw BD, 6577.2. And spacing is area of bar over AS times the width na 3.6 you will get 110 mm. Okay? And then, yan yung i-check nyo. So, again, that is 16 mm. By the way, no, yung area ng bar is 201 because yan yung area ng 16 mm. So, again, ang formula nyan is area bar over AS times the width. Okay? So, 110 mm. Which is, uh, if you will observe, uh, may, may ano lang, no? may 30 mm difference. No? Siguro, nagkaroon lang ng discrepancy sa assumed width ko na B. Okay? So, yun lang. Yun lang yung i-check nyo sa RCDC. Eh. And, and if, if uh, malapit kayo sa RCDC result, and that's it. That's, that's already part of uh, manually checking the design. Okay?